There are three things a man can be certain of while dating Taylor Swift. He will wind up significantly richer than he was prior to catching the attention of the largest pop singer in the world. Her army of fans, the Swifties, will closely monitor his every move. Their relationship will be given a title, a combination of their names with Taylor's dominating. Look at the career paths of everyone from Joe Alwyn and Tom Hiddleston to Harry Styles and Calvin Harris, and you'll be convinced that their relationship with a certain 35-year-old billionaire accelerated their rise to fame. Styles was dating Ms. Swift in 2012 when One Direction swept the US music scene. Swift co-wrote a song that transformed Harris from a talented DJ into a full-fledged hitmaker. Hiddleston's eye-catching antics during a fleeting relationship with Swift propelled him to the A-list. Furthermore, Joe Alwyn doesn't need to worry about his Hollywood career because he will always be in the millions because of the songwriting credits that his ex-girlfriend so kindly gave him. Nobody has as big of a fan base as Swift does, and her lovers are accepted into the fold as long as they participate in the game. The 34-year-old standout of the Kansas City Chiefs, Travis Kelsey, is the most recent winner of the Golden Ticket. Although supporters of American football vehemently contest that Miss Swift has aided the three-time Super Bowl victor's career, it's difficult to argue that being the newest Mr. Swift has raised his reputation internationally. After Swift was initially spotted cheering on Kelsey at a Kansas City Chiefs game in September of last year, the term, Travis Kelsey, topped Google search results, receiving more than 5 million requests. And ever since, his star has been rising. Sales of his number 87 shirt surged 400%, and his brother Jason, a former American football player, saw a fourfold rise in the number of people who listened to his TikTok podcast, New Heights. Prior to Trailer, 32% of the show's audience was female, today, 50% are. And since Trailer went public, Kelsey has made sure to play up to his newly discovered fan base, many of whom are definitely Swifties, by bringing up their connection in every episode. Travis said to his brother on the podcast following the September football game, obviously, we're together but I have to keep some things private so I won't be sharing details moving forward. Such noble aspirations were quickly brought into disrepute. Kelsey has since discussed a date at the Sydney Zoo, the events of the 2024 Super Bowl afterparty, and, most recently, his interest in lab-grown diamonds. This news sparked a flurry of engagement rumors among Swifties. It's obvious that this formula works. The Kelsey Brothers podcast was named iHeartRadio's podcast of the year earlier this month, and after becoming Spotify's most listened to sports podcast, they are expected to win numerous more awards. Fans of Ms. Swift have not wasted any time in pointing out Kelsey's obvious strategy. One wrote on Instagram, saying, the Kelseys are not foolish. Swifties generate scores. You get ratings if you mention Taylor. In her 2017 hit song I Did Something Bad, the Shake It Off singer stated, if he drops my name, then I owe him nothing, and if he spends my change, then he had it coming. It appears that she is well aware of the impact she has on her partner's careers. What about the earlier Mr. Swifts? These days, Harry Styles is a self-contained global sensation. However, things were not the same when he started a brief romantic involvement with Swift in 2012. The pair, known as Haler, were paired for 10 months, she was 22 and he was 18. Styles' successful break into the American music scene, which many British artists aspire to, coincided with their relationship. One Direction was almost unknown outside of the UK until 2012, and when it did manage to tour the US, it was as the opening act rather than the lead act for another boy band, Big Time Rush, who I didn't like either. Styles and Swift were seen strolling together in Central Park the day before One Direction's debut performance at Madison Square Garden in New York. They broke up in January 2013 after spending a month together, being spotted kissing in Times Square on New Year's Eve, sharing a paper airplane necklace, and even getting into a snowmobile accident. Nonetheless, 
the partnership was beneficial to all parties, with Styles going on to experience a meteoric rise in the US. With Harry's House, his third studio album, taking home two Grammys. Swift's fifth album, 1989, featured several references to Styles in songs like Style and Out of the Woods, which were inspired by their breakup. In the current world, is there any greater imprimatur for a man to strive for? The next person in line to receive a boost from the world's largest megastar was Scottish DJ Calvin Harris. Had only had one top five success at the time, but in 2016 the release of the song This Is What You Came For, written by Harris and someone named Nils Schoberg, who turned out to be a pen name for Miss Swift, sent his career into overdrive. The song is still Harris's highest peaking hit as a lead artist in the US, featuring Rihanna on the vocals. But there was some debate about its dissemination. Harris replied, I can't see it happening, in response to a question regarding the prospect of working with his girlfriend in an interview with TV host Ryan Seacrest. Soon after, he was forced to make an embarrassing admission on Twitter, stating that while he wrote the music, produced the song, arranged it, and cut Rihanna's vocals, Swift authored the words and provided some background vocals. Tom Hiddleston was next. The 43-year-old star of the BBC popular drama The Night Manager and 26-year-old Ms. Swift went on a three-month relationship that began at the 2016 Met Gala. Wearing a white tank top with the phrase, I Heart T.S. printed on it, Hiddleston played around the beach in Rhode Island with Miss Swift's devoted besties, including Gigi Hadid, Cara Delevingne, and Blake Lively, during the singer's 4th of July celebration. A lot of magazines featured Hiddleston on their cover during their Summer of Love, notably the August issue of W, where he was seen wearing nothing but tight white boxers. The Hiddleswift craze undoubtedly raised Hiddleston's prominence as rumors circulated that he was being groomed to be the next James Bond. However, the affair quickly ended, and Taylor soon developed feelings for another Englishman, the 33-year-old up-and-coming actor Joe Alwyn. Known for their intense privacy, Jailer was first seen with her partner in 2017 while sipping coffee on a Nashville balcony. Her album Lover made references to marriage two years later, which generated engagement rumors. Neither of them verified or refuted the rumors. It seems that a planned policy included this. Alwyn once said to an interviewer, I would have a lot of pound coins if I had a pound for every time I think I've been told I've been engaged. The truth is that I wouldn't say anything if the response was either yes or no. Alongside Ms. Swift's enormous success, his acting career grew quietly. In the 2020 Miss Americana Netflix documentary, he was seen supporting her from the stands at one of her tour performances. Once her reputation concert was over, the celebrity hurried off stage to give her partner a hug. In the same year, Alwyn was chosen for his largest role to date, which was in the BBC production of Conversations with Friends, the best-selling book by Sally Rooney. He was a little-known actor who had starred in a few independent movies when he and Swift initially started dating, but their public relationship helped him gain a new following of admirers. The quiet Bristol drama graduate had become one of Hollywood's leading men by the time their six-year romance ended. However, the source of his greatest income, which may be referred to as the Swift Dividend, comes from his compositions on her previous three albums. Whether true or not, it has made him a very wealthy man, a source told Life and Style. Joe doesn't ever need to worry about money again because he is making so much money from royalties and returns from Taylor's era's tour. An estimate of his earnings from Spotify streaming alone put it at $2.3 million. Under the alias William Bowery, Alwyn co-wrote six tracks with Swift, including Exile and Betty for her Grammy-winning album Folklore from 2020. One boyfriend that proved difficult to salvage was the 34-year-old frontman of the 1975, Maddie Healy, who was briefly connected to Swift in May of last year. Unusually, the Swifties showed little affection for their heroine's new romantic interest. The Healy's propensity to talk first and consider later was the serpent in their paradise.
The Swifties were offended when he referred to the female rapper I Spice as this chubby Chinese lady and Inuit Spice Girl. In response to Healy's bigoted words, they even started a hashtag Speak Up Now campaign against Swift, requesting that she offer more than a simple apology. Use your platform responsibly and intentionally, stated the statement. Promote empathy and understanding, enjoy variety, and be an advocate for inclusivity. It was revealed that Maddie and Taylor were no longer dating in June of last year, just a month after their names were originally connected. On the other hand, Travis Kelsey seems to be playing a blinder. He and Swift were only photographed strolling hand in hand on a Bahamas beach this past week. Maybe La Swift, who has been unlucky in love so frequently, has now found Mr. Right?